Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Dream Coma. It's already different. The game is already different. This is gonna be chapter two out of who knows how many chapters in Bad Dream Coma, but at the beginning of the time we played yesterday, the game was completely silent and it was a very different type of feel. Now there's like children's toy music playing in the background, which is very different compared to the feel that we had when we started. So let's load this up here. We're in the hospital now, chapter two. I don't know how many chapters there are. I do know there's three endings and we've already mucked up the good and neutral ending because if you punch a bunch of birds in the beginning, <laughs> that messes that all up. So I'm okay with that because I think the bad ending will be a little bit more sinister, but I'm curious to see what we're getting ourselves into here. So now we're talking to this guy here. We talked to him at the ending of last time. So pretty much he just says, hey, and then he says you've recovered, and then the monster attacked you. Fortunately, all you did was lose a few fingers, but nobody ever escapes out of here, that type of stuff. So, we're going to let him talk, and then he's going to have to run because there's going to be a noise here. This all happened at the end of the last video we did. So what we have to do now is find our way out of this nightmare, as he says. And then there's an earthquake, and he's like, oh, damn, it's the earthquake alarm. That means I got to go. I have my alarm on Siri set to earthquake. So he's like, oh, shit, I got to go. See? So, see you later. And then he just flies on out of here. And then we have this guy here. There's a lot for us to investigate. In terms of getting a good ending, that's already well out the window, because if you look at the status, I've been getting these types of things. Wounds, a broken doll, bird, that type of stuff. So I can't get the good ending because of those. Can't get the neutral ending because of that. I can get the bad ending because of the birds. Okay? Let's resume here and see what we can investigate. Patient card! Everything is unknown, but he lost several fingers. His condition is stable and I was found on a bridge. So this must be my room. Or my... Chair. Bed. My bed! My cot. I don't know why there's so many of these here. Little markings to show how long I've been here because they're over my bed, not his. What about you? Whoa! Don't touch me, he says. What about your leg? I could probably hurt him. What does this say? And, of course, he doesn't have a name, but he has several fatal wounds. He's paralyzed, traumatized, impossible to cure and rehabilitate. Only one solution. Find a way to wake up. Ooh, okay. Nothing on this one. Broken childhood. Oh, no. So, this is probably here because of the choice I made in the other area when I broke the doll. Okay. Anything else around in here? This life is fake! Oh, I kind of got that vibe already, considering I'm in a coma. New monster spot. A new bird-like creature was seen near the bridge. Who did that and why? So this is me hurting the birds. So, I bet you this whole area is considerably different if I chose not to hurt the birds or I didn't break the doll, things like that. Which is really cool! It could be completely different. Let's start adventuring around here and try to find some things, huh? Uh-oh. And this is where I came out of. Go back, room 14. Let's go forward here. So I need a code. <laughs> I love how it shows my hand without the fingers. <laughs> Get wrecked hand. Okay, so now... You would think I'd be able to, like, enter some sort of code in here, but these, uh... These aren't very pushable for some reason. Can I use you to investigate? Hmm. Okay, let's go back, I think. Here we go. What do we got over here? Oh, I go up the elevator. And uh, then this is for water. Maybe I can take the keys off of this one with some sort of tool and put them into this. This wire is broken here as well. Can I go to the left? It doesn't look like it. I can only go back and then into here. So I guess I'm going in. I guess I'm going out. Okay. Man, this game is so cool. I love it. I love the art style. There's a div Eventually, there's going to be a... <laughs> And just like, that tries to jump scare me. You wait for it. Nothing. We got some very wiggly trash bags. That's kind of gross. Now, can I use this over here? Usually when there is a question mark, it means you can use an item on it, I think. I think is what that means. I can go back in. Anything else for me to click around in here? Doesn't look like it. Can I leave? Or can I go to a different area? It does not appear like I can do anything. I can just look around. Now, what about you? Can I investigate anything with my magnifying glass? Does not look like it. Huh. 
I guess I'll go back in and try to find some. Oh my god, what are you? You spooky little monster, get out of the water bottles! Ugh. Oh, I can open this up. Here we go. And now there's so many things in this game that are like so tiny that you need to pay attention to. Oh, that opens up and then closes. Okay. And again, I can't imagine that this magnifying glass does anything. What? Did you hear that thing go wrinkle? It totally rang at me, dude. It totally rang at me. You creepy little phone. So since there's nothing here that I can apparently touch, I think what I'll do is go back for now. God, and try to investigate some more things back over this way. I can turn the lights on and off. Okay. Okay, so new plan here. I think if I hit this light and then try going down here, this changes. I go to a different area when the light is off. Okay. What do we got over here? All sorts of new things. Okay. I got a scissors and hoe. Stay away from me, door. Somebody's trying to come in here. Oh, that's so creepy. I tipped over the tack. See, like, it's... I just feel like every single little thing I touch has an effect on the ending. Now, granted, I already have the bad ending, but I just wonder how these things could have changed. Can I scissors you? No, but we have the fishy over here. It looks like there is something I can do. Oh, quit it. There's something I can do with the fish. Oh, so creepy. Okay, let's keep moving around here. What do we got? I need help here. What do you need help with, sir? And who are you? I can move the mouse around. Can I plug it in? Aha! Uh -huh. And now I can move the mouse around. All right. There's all sorts of stuff I can open around in here. Is there anything to investigate, perhaps? No. Can I cut this wire? Would I want to? No. But I can unplug you and put you back in. And nothing else that I can appear to cut around in here or click. Now I may be missing something, but let's go back and see what this is all about. Looks like there's a note. SOS. Of course. <laughs> of course it sucks by you right now. Disclaimer, every action has a reaction. Our minds are capable of creating monsters. Oh, okay. And then since this is a coma, that makes sense. Because every action that we make matters. We can't leave this dream, so we don't want it to become a nightmare. Don't make anything bad or stupid for the sake of all of us. Too bad! I already punched all the birds. It's over, man. Nightmare mode in incoming. So let's go. Oh, who are you? The spiders hatched in my kitchen. Can you deal with them? <coughs> oh, God. Can you not cough at me? You hate spiders, and you have spiders in your kitchen. Is this your kitchen? That is not your kitchen. That's somewhere else. Maybe that was the lady on the other side of the door. <coughs> what is this? Oh, God. Quit coughing. Pills eat me! Well, I would rather not, sir. Okay. Ooh. I can do something with the moon? I can look at the aliens? I have a peace offering. No. I have a scissors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I went way back. Okay. <coughs> Let's go take a look at the aliens again. Is there anything else I can touch around in here? Or is that just a fun little Easter egg? <laughs> Okay, well, I found aliens, everybody. And it doesn't look like there's anything else for me to touch. So let's go to the kitchen. And try to help a lady out here. I don't know where this leads to. Does it work here? Doesn't look like it. So let's go back. Back again. And if I turn this on and... Oh, wait. Could I have always gone to the right? Oh my gosh, I could have always went to the right with the lights on. I'm dumb. My bad, I just kept clicking in the same area. Okay. Oh, here we go, what is that? Maybe that's a clue that that's the kitchen. That might make sense because there's a big slab of meat here. So let's try this. That's the kitchen, perfect. Oh boy, there's spiders in here? Where do you keep, oh, there it is, hi. <laughs> Wait, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Right, did I mess that up? No, spiders don't hate me, but I have blood on my hands, right? That's gotta be what that is. Maybe. Do, am I really supposed to hurt all these spiders? That seems wrong. Granted, I've already done a whole lot of wrong in this playthrough. Shut up! Am I turning you on? It don't look like it. You're just kind of doing that on your own. So I'm just seeing what I can all touch in here with my magnifying glass. It don't look like a whole hell of a lot. So we're going spider punching, okay? Goodbye! You're gone! Status? 
Spiders hate you. See? I wasn't supposed to do that, but it helps out with the bad ending. But that lady wanted us to hit the spiders. Now, I wonder if that lady would have never showed up if I went to be already on the bad ending. I don't know. Hmm. I can pop these. That's kind of funny. But the spiders hate me. But if spiders hate me, that means a lady don't hate me no more, right? So I can go walk to her. Finally! I hope they're all gone. I hate these nasty creatures. Autosave. And now she's gone, which probably means I can go this way or touch something over here. There's got to be a reason for her. Is there not? The moon's gone. The moon disappeared for sure. Holy shit, I can break windows. Oh my god, I gotta slow down when I'm clicking here. Now if I look at my status, to oh my. Well, I don't want to May as well. Just go for it, huh? What am I doing here? I'm going for the worst ending I can get here, man. But that didn't do anything. None of these rocks seem to be doing anything. All I have is this freaking scissors. Which ain't helping no one, so let's go back and maybe she's in her kitchen, perhaps? There she is. So, take the scissors off. Let's talk to you. Want to buy a soup? No. I don't want to buy a soup. I do not want to buy- Oh, God. I don't want to buy your soup, lady, but I can go in here now. This is unlocked because she came into here. So, what does she have? It's water, right? Okay. She has boobies. <laughs> Let's keep looking through here. What is that? Glue. So I got glue to help glue something back together. And a whole bunch of other stuff in here, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything or anything that I can grab. And then in terms of scissors, it doesn't look like I can scissors anything or do anything in terms of magnifying glasses. So I think it's time that I head on out of here. Do you need glue, sir? No. Do you need a scissors, sir? Oh, God, I hurt his fingers! Oh, no. That's not good. Butcher. Oh, no. I'm doing the absolute worst ending you can possibly find. <laughs> I'm so Ooh. sorry, sir. I'll put him back together. I'll glue him back. No? Oh, I took his fingers. Holy shit. Did I want to do that? Ooh. I feel like I didn't want to do that. I got fingers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Should I take your toes, too? Ooh. No? We're done with that? Oh, my God. Well. <laughs> ah! God. Here you are. The doctor is waiting for you. You should dress the wound as quickly as possible. What do you mean? Where's this doctor? That's not a doctor. And you're not here anymore. If I was a doctor... Oh. It's really loud in here. I would be... This way. Oh, here's the doctor. Show me your hand. Uh. This one? Oh, my hand. Oh, I'm gonna put fingers back on me, I think. I have a worm in me. Oh, I took the worm out of me. Um, can I put these up here? No. What am I- Should I put- No. <laughs> should I glue some fingers back- Oh, God. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I just glued some fingers back on. And have a bloody scissors. Let's take a peek at that, no? Let's take a scissors at that. Let's take a worm at that. No, I think we did fine. All done! Try to avoid troubles. You don't want to end up like me. Autosave. Oh, dear goodness. This is so interesting. Well, I'll take- That's not my key! Can I, like, roll you over? One mistake and you'll end up like me. You ain't kidding, man. There's a whole lot to mess up in this game. So can I interact with any of these items around on the ground? It don't look like it. I can try to take that, and all he does is get really upset with me. Hmm, so let's go back here. There's little I can do on my own. Yeah, you are kind of just ahead. So let's go back this way. He can't do anything, but I can go back. Can I take this apart over here? No, what can I do with a worm? Feed it to the fish? Oh shit, it killed the fish. Oh shit! I got your eyeball, fish. Oh no! Oh god, did I, what did that do to the status? No, that's fine. I mean, I'm already way on the bad ending anyway, but still, I'm just so curious to see how these parts come into that. I think that's so cool, so I have an eyeball. Where would I put that? Something that needs to see, I guess? 
Can't go in here yet. Don't know what the mouse is all about. Oh! Oh! Oh, I can go right into the screen. Internet. This computer is infected with a virus. Games? Coma. What did that do? That's so weird. Trash? Wait a second. Can I? No, I can't. I can't put that away in there. And since this is infected. Huh. But now I wonder if I go back and move the mouse, does that do anything? I can't imagine it would, but it's worth looking at. All right. Well, let's go back into coma here. That's so weird how we're like in the game, even though we're in the game. Now let's see what we can do with an eyeball. Oh, hello. Do you want an eyeball? So there's a clue right there to go. I have an eyeball for you. Oh God, you're still alive, Jesus Christ. Should I end that problem of yours? The whole being alive thing? Cause you just kinda seem like you're having a bad day. Butchered! Lost fingers, eyes, ears, dignity, and hope. There is no escape. Oh no. What about mine? Mental! Clearly dangerous! Oh boy. I mean, based on the actions we've been doing here, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Can I look inside? It looks like there's like nothing I can do with him. Even if I take all this off, he's just kind of there. At this point. Oh boy! Well, let's go here. Try to find the next area. It wants me to go in here, but I ain't got nothing for you. So let's go see where I can shove an eyeball. I need to get this guy's key somehow, don't I? Can I stab him? I need to get his key. His key is preventing me from getting something that I need. For sure. So maybe if I turn the lights off and then try to go to him, he won't see me or he won't- I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what that does. Oh, he's sleeping. Sure enough. Take the key and then I'm gonna leave. I wonder what the darkness does to the other areas. I can't open a lot of things, but can I go into here now? Let's try to do this, and then try it. No, I have a key, but it won't go into here. Well, where would the key go? This one? There we go. Who are you? This is so good. I love this game, man. Man. What happened to your eyeballs? I was trying to think of something witty, and nothing came up. I just like, wow, he's so blind right now. <laughs> that doesn't have much to say, either. Oh, okay. Oh. Beep, beep. Okay, teddy bear. You don't have a head. Do you need an eyeball, perhaps? Wait, you need an eyeball. Who am I kidding? Oh, I think I put it in a little crooked. <laughs> Gave a little bit of a lazy eye. We're almost there. I'll take this key, though. Thanks. And I'll put some water in there, and then I'll drink it, I guess. I don't know if I'm drinking or what I'm doing. Is there anything else I can touch in here? What about the teddy? Can I touch you? No. Can I magnify you? No. Can I key you? No, didn't think so. But it was worth looking. So now I have this key, which will go into there. And this is the washroom. Aha! So I got a bottle cap. There's a hairy sponge. Go back to the hallway. Oh, give me that eyeball! No? Stab it! Oh god, I did! Cyclops. I mean, I feel like I needed that eyeball, right? Otherwise, how else was I gonna do this? Oh god, I'm so sorry. I felt like I had to stab your eyeball. It's not because I wanted to. Is there an eyeball in there now for me? No. I got hair. You. Like, I feel like I need to put this guy back together in the other room, you know what I mean? That's the vibe I'm getting. A little Humpty Dumpty type business. So. I didn't get that eyeball, I just stabbed it. So I apologize that we're not quite there yet. Do you need hair? Oh. Okay, I need a bottle cap for the other eye. Okay, well he has hair on his head now, I guess. So what if I turn the lights off and go in? Nothing changes. What about in here? Anything change? No. Anything in here? I need an eyeball, ma'am. Need a bottle cap? Are you into bottle caps? Maybe she wants a bottle cap. Okay, let's turn this on. Maybe McLady wants a bottle cap. What have you done? I don't know what did I do. Did I do something? There's still no- oh wait, oh. Oh! 
Oh, I poked the guy's eye out into here. That's why she's like, what have you done? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, let's go into here and give him the eyeball. Are you all back together yet? No, you need more? You needy person. Bottle cap? No. Can I cut you? Do I need to put you back together so I can kill you? No. Oh, there's a crow here and he has an ear. Can I have that? Oh! I just had to put a cap in his mouth <laughs> in order to take the ear. Well, now he should have his ears, right? If I go back here, he was apparently missing an ear. Here you go. He's back together! Let me help you. What did I do? Oh, he fixed his eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I hope you're more help than harm. I'm afraid that poking someone's eye out was not a good idea. So, tell me. What exactly happened in the graveyard? Have you found any clues? I... I was attacked a few steps from the gate. I haven't found anything useful. I, I didn't get the chance to look around. He was really looking around before that guy fixed his eyeballs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. It's fine. I appreciate that you tried, at least. Few people here have the courage to do that. It seems that some tips regarding our immortality can be hidden at the graveyard. Can you check it out for me? I'd like to look for the nurse. We're not looking for anything concrete. Just look around for some information. I see you have some scissors. Can I borrow them? I'll show you a shortcut. Oh god. We'll see if you like when people hurt you. Ah! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, chapter th two complete. I unlocked the wounds, the spider, the butcher, and the... Oh boy, chapter three, the graveyard. Uh-oh, this is creepy. So, this was chapter two of Bad Dream Coma, everybody. We're going to get straight into chapter three here right after this. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. If you've enjoyed, leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of Bad Dream Coma. And I'll see you guys in the next video that we do. Okay.